is that you probably need to work with at some point is understand where to get templates. All right, so there's a whole section on how to work with templates and it's really kind of cool and I'm glad we've got it, but there are different ways of doing things. And one of the things that you could do to get some really solid templates is to use something like cloud formation. Now there's some good things about it and there's some bad things about it, right? So if you go into stacks, you can see ones that are already pretty much so complete. So I have one here that is a delete failed, right? So failed to delete the SAM CLI source bucket. So that means that happened um, back in S3 for that. But the cool part is if you go in here and you kind of take a look at that template, you can actually go ahead and turn it around. Always remember to view the process template. Now you have a template that you can actually haul off. Now the bad part is that it doesn't export the template. You actually have to go in here and go control A or just copy the whole thing because the control A will take the whole process from this. Go control C. And then if you have something like Visual Studio Code open, um, you can actually go in and work on that. Um, let's just go ahead and let's make a new page file, a uh, new text file. And then we can go ahead and copy that off. And that will give us the whole template that we need to work with for that whole process. And again, it's a really kind of a neat way of just getting those templates and getting them into code space so you can actually work with them. The other thing that you can also do with that template is go ahead and drop it into um, your versioning system or whatever else you've got. And again, it makes it just really super easy to go through and take a look at all of the things that are done, how they're set up, what other things you may need to do, especially if you just want to pull the latest of something, then you can go from there. You can give it a name, security groups, everything else that you would want to give it. And you're pretty much so straightforward on this, right? But again, these are really nice if you want to, want to view it in what's called the designer. The designer is just a neat thing that you can actually pull in um, to kind of take a look at it if it's in here. If you can even find it, it's kind of a mess um, to kind of dig around with this. Um, on it, so you kind of have to hit the home button, right? But it kind of tells you what it's got all hooked in and together and where it connects on and how it connects, any kind of dependencies or other things. So the designer is kind of a neat thing to go along with it as well, if you want to deal with the designer. Um, and then just leave if you want. We didn't really want to make any changes to it. But again, it's a neat place to get your templates, especially if you have something already built or you've got something else done. This is just a neat place of getting it. It's kind of an aside. All right, so that's where you can get some good templates for stuff you've already built inside of Cloud Formation. You can go into the designer and a few other things to make sure what you've got. All right, that's it for this lecture. I'll see you in the next one.